being late but I decided to completely refilm um because I'd originally filmed it sitting in the baby's room and the lighting was awful so I've just sat down today and I'm going to refilm this video so this is what is in my hospital bag this is just the stuff that I'm taking for me um just to see me over for whilst I am in the hospital through labour and delivery and afterwards so I'm well. just taking a standard black suitcase um, just like a cabin size suitcase, nothing too big, nothing too small. So I'm just going to work my way through, I'll pull out the bits and pieces and explain what they are so you have a better idea of what I'm taking. If there is anything I've missed out, please leave it in the comments down below so I know. There are a few items it. in here that are for baby and um, the majority of the stuff is for me, but I'll run through them anyway. So the first thing is a bag of cotton wool. The hospital I'm giving birth in do recommend to use cotton wool and water to clean the baby's uh, nappy area whilst they're still relatively uh, young. So I'm taking a pack of I don't know if these are going to get used but I'm taking a pack of maternity briefs, like just the paper knickers. I've got them in the biggest size that they do because I've heard they don't stretch very well so I don't know if I'll use those but I've got those anyway just in case. I have some nipple cream. This is just the Lansano um, lanolin. I'm Green. taking two towels, this is a big towel and I've also got another smaller towel in here for my hair in case I do decide to get a shower and wash my hair afterwards. I have two packs of maternity towels, sports drinks for energy during labour for me and Jenny as well. Um, these have been recommended to bring by the midwives so I'm bringing a few of those. Teddy for baby, this is just to go in his little bassinet in his little um, cot after he's born, um, just for pictures and things. Um, my mum bought me this so I'm taking that with me. Two pairs of socks, flip flops for the shower. I'm taking two plain black vests. These aren't nursing vests but they're stretchy, um, just stretchy vests. These are from Primark, I think they're about £2.50, I think they're in the pyjama range actually. Um, so I'm taking those just for breastfeeding and basically so I don't have to wear pyjamas all day whilst I'm in hospital. I'm taking two nighties show you what this looks like. It goes down to um, kind of calf length and it's got buttons all the way down the front that they undo all the way down so um, obviously for labour and delivery I can wear one of these and then I can have it unbuttoned for skin to skin. Two non-wired like born. sports bra type things, they're non, non padded just standard stretchy uh, sports I have four bras. pairs of knickers, these are new but I'm not bothered about them um, getting ruined um, I know obviously labour and delivery can be quite messy so these are probably just going to be in after afterwards so I have a pair of pyjama those. bottoms these are just to put under the nighties just in case I want a bit more I have a dressing gown this is a really thin nice cool gown I know obviously you can get quite hot in the hospitals because the wards are quite warm but I do want something just to throw on if I do I have some breast pads I know that my milk probably won't come in whilst I'm at hospital um, and I might not have that much leakage but I've just thrown some in just in case because they're relatively thin and I can just pop these inside one of the pockets. And lastly I just have a reusable carrier bag. This is just for dirty laundry so I can separate the dirty clothes and things that I want to bring home and wash from the clean things. So that's in everything case. inside the suitcase. Uh, the only other thing I'm taking is my wash bag so I'll run through everything that's in here as well. I have a flannel. I have a shower body puff of hair bands, a pack of tissues, some simple um, makeup remover wipes. I have an instant cooling spray, this is just from the pound shop and it's just like a, you can spray your face if you get quite hot. I have a hairbrush, some lip balm, toothbrush and toothpaste for me and Johnny, travel size shampoo and conditioner, travel size roll on deodorant, moisturiser, Deodorant for Johnny as well because he will probably forget to put it in his bag. Dry shampoo and some moisturiser. Also taking my camera with us. This is all fully charged and ready to go. The batteries and all the leads and everything are in there. So that's just next to the case to grab on the way out the door. The only other things I'm going to pop in the case that I can't put in at the moment because they're being used are my maternity leggings. I'm planning on going into the hospital in a pair of a pair of the leggings and then take in another pair in the case to come home in. The rest of the time I'll probably just be in the nighties or the hospital gowns or the pyjamas that I've packed. Obviously our phone chargers as well which are being used so they'll need to be unplugged and just thrown into one of the bags so we have those with us. And a coin purse full of change for the car parks, the vending machines, anything else that we need whilst we're there. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, I will also be putting in here some snacks and things just to get us through um, our hospital stay. So that's it for this video. If you can think of anything else I need, please do leave it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to uh, like it. this video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.